Hi, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Alan Kennedy of Time, Comma, Team and Money Limited. We're a coaching organisation and we help professional service providers in coaching. And I'm going to talk to you today about a survey I did amongst a group of um, uh, uh, members of the Chartered Institute of Personal and Development, which produced some fascinating results, but consistent with every other time I've asked uh, professional advisors about pricing. OK, without further ado, let's uh, dive straight in. Um, uh, uh, the questions I asked them were, um, uh, how much would you charge, expect to pay for a set of company accounts for the business turning over um, £250,000 with simple personal and corporation tax returns? Time spent on the work, circa 25 hours, including all the partner time, the personal tax department, and uh, the... Um, uh, the accounts preparation staff. Well, the answers were very interesting. They vary from anything, but some people were expecting to pay less than £500, uh, a couple there, uh, or five there, most were expecting between, to pay between 500 and 1000 Then we're getting into prices which are more akin to the market rate, so three at um, uh, between 1000 and 1500 four at between 1500 and 2000 then two at the slightly higher rates up to three and a half thousand, and then three would expect to pay above three, uh, three and a half thousand pounds. Well, I've asked that question around about 500 firms of accountants and the distribution of scores on the prices charged are almost exactly the same, except no one is as low as less than 500 pounds. What does that tell us? That tells us that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, what people charge and what people expect to pay are entirely different. There is no such thing as perfect competition in the professional services market. Okay, the um, uh, next question I asked is how much would you expect to pay a personal trainer per hour? And again, the prices vary. These are slightly less varied than previously, um, uh, with the majority of the answers coming in between 20 and 50 pounds an hour, which is consistent with what answers I get. However, the one was less than £20 an hour. Goodness knows what sort of personal training you're going to get for that. And one was above £75 an hour. So speaking of someone who trains athletes, uh, I'd very much like to meet that person, but unfortunately the survey was anonymous. Um, uh, yes, so, but what does that tell us? Well, what I then went on to say is that I know a personal trainer who charges five clients around about £40,000 a year. The value of his services to those particular clients is enormous and he is perceived as a specialist for those services. I'm not going to give you too much detail in case you know who he is or know the industry, uh, know who his clients are, uh, but trust me, it's amazing what he, he can charge. So then I asked something a bit closer to home for them. How much would you charge for a set of employment contracts um, um, between uh, uh, for 10 staff? And you've got to imply that, uh, provide an employee handbook. Well, again, the price is there. And now I compared it with, a, a, there's a company, uh, I won't mention the name, um, document production company, I was probably quite a few of them, but I know one in particular, uh, where you can buy a contract for employment and a very good one and a handbook for a subscription. I think it's between 30 and 50 pounds a year. Um, so very cheap if you want to do it yourself. However, the uh, employment advisors varied in their price Two of them were charging less than £300 for the service. Up to the top end was above £1,500. So one presupposes that uh, that's, uh, that's about 25% um, of those surveyed. Presupposing it's taking a couple of days to do, so they're charging at least £100 an hour compared with these people down here who probably aren't doing a proper job, I don't know. Okay. And then we were actually a bit more specific. Let's imagine that your um, sales director had had a sexual harassment claim against him. And before you prosecute me under the Equality Act, I made no comment about whether the sales director was male or female or the person he was harassing was male or female. How much would you expect to charge uh, 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 for a disciplinary hearing that everyone expected to take about three days? Probably the preparatory work was a bit to sit down and talk to everyone, see if you could back out of the confrontational situation. And then if that didn't work, you probably had to attend the tribunal. So again, prices varied. In almost every case, they vary by sevenfold. So the lowest was between six and 900 pounds. So someone is charging 300 pounds a day and probably quite keen to get to work on board and think 
price influences work through to uh, quite a few were charging uh, between uh, three and four hundred pounds a day and then as we scroll up through we see four people were charging or a thousand pounds a day or more and then two people were charging uh, uh, well over 16 1700 pounds a day which bear in mind the cost to the client if this all went belly up and the adverse publicity the uh, it was a 50 person firm uh, the compensation is unlimited so it could be a hundred thousand pounds a year a hundred thousand pounds or more i mean i've seen bigger figures than that uh, fortunately they're quite rare if you're about to have nightmares do sleep well uh, 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 because most people can go get a job but if you're a high paid individual and and you've been so traumatized by the sexual harassment then the the claim is likely to be a lot bigger and there surely you want the very best to make sure that um, uh, you you either protect yourself the most or minimize the claim so uh, anyway the top end was well up there so that tells me what I've known for the last 10 years because or 12 years I've been asking questions about pricing that the prices between the top and the bottom vary by sevenfold as night follows day it's the same every time you get a bunch in the middle and it's slightly lower when the consumer is asking compared with the provider uh, so when i ask about accountants you get a cheaper figure than when you ask the accountants how much they charge but what that also tells me is clients perceive professional services providers as expensive because they always charge more than the client expects so i want to leave you with one thought someone has to be up here in the most expensive category and the answer is why not you? the question is why not you anyway uh, i'm uh, alan kennedy of time team and money coaching uh, if you want to contact me i forgot to write it down but my telephone number is oops if i can type properly 01993831988 or my mobile is 078 three four three five six nine one nine okay and i look very much whoops it doesn't say very well uh i very much look forward to hearing from you if you want some help on it either increasing or decreasing your prices i don't mind which or getting extra clients so uh, uh in addition to that we help with the efficiency of professional practices and trying to help businesses uh, or not try we do help businesses expand uh, and increase profits and reduce stress so if that's you and you're either overstressed or your income is not enough to live off or not enough that you, to keep you in the style you, uh, your spouse would like to become accustomed to, then please do contact me. So that's Alan Kennedy of Time, Team and Money. Thank you.